grown up so much. Yep, that's what I'm making for dinner. So I got chunks of carne asada and we're gonna make some steak and eggs for dinner actually because that sounds really good. I have been craving red meat today all day and I don't eat a whole lot of meat I guess because I don't um, I don't like chicken very much anymore and <laughs> that's sizzling really loud so I feel like I'm shouting but I don't eat chicken very often anymore like maybe a couple of times a week but red meat is just so good. And so that's what we're having tonight. We're having some steak and eggs and I don't know what else, but I might make myself the mango spinach smoothie as well because I seem to really like that at night. It tastes really good. And maybe that means I need iron. I don't know because red meat's got iron in it and spinach has a ton of iron in it. But I just sounded really good. I was craving like a huge burger on our way home and I was like, oh yeah, we have steak. So that's what I'm making and it looks so good. Oh my gosh. Only downside to eating steak is that I have to cook it more well done than I would normally eat it um, because you can't have like raw meat when you're pregnant so I have to actually cook it pretty well done. Hi Athena, what's up? You licking your lips? It smells good in here, huh? Huh Zeus? What's, uh, what's, what's mom making today? I told him already. You told him already? Steak and eggs. Hey everybody, how's it going? So, ooh, let me turn on this other light just because I can. Oh man. So guys, how's it going? How you guys doing? This morning I woke up and went to my Twitter and saw that Diet Bet had tweeted out for me something. And I didn't know they were tweeting stuff out for me. I didn't know. And I just must have passed that little detail when I signed up, you know, like a year ago when I was originally doing a Diet Bet with Carly Siles. But this time around, um, I didn't see it. But I guess they're tweeting out stuff for me. So I disabled that. But anyway, this morning, I woke up to a tweet saying, um, cheer me on, I've only, I have only I have only an 8% chance of winning this diet bet. I was like, 8% chance, what the heck? So I went to, to uh, my, my, my diet bet profile page, and apparently you're supposed to be like weighing in every week. So I'm like, okay, I was wondering why they just gave me such a negative slap in the face. I'm like, sorry Mike, you only have 8% chance to win this game. I was like, what? But apparently, I guess you're supposed to weigh in weekly and like weigh in and then chime in on your account, your profile, like how much you weigh, and then keep track of your weight throughout the, 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 the total of the game. I thought, I did this last time too, I just, you know, weigh in initially, and then at the end of the game, I weigh in with my, my photos that, um, you have to take a photo with a certain word they give you to verify your weight. Um, that's how they do it. Um, you take a photo, they see the photo with your scale, your number that you're standing on, and then you in the, you in the picture. So um, I didn't know that you could just keep checking in without doing the whole photo process again. But I weighed in this morning, and yeah, so it's not 8% anymore. I'll have to see what the new percentage is uh, next time I sign in to Diabet. But anyways, tonight Extreme Weight Loss is on, which means that um, we're going to watch it. Because my man Chris Powell and Heidi Powell, they it's their show, okay? So I have to watch it. That's our Wednesday nights is Extreme Weight Loss Edition. And I'm going to try to work out between the commercials of the show. Because we're going to watch it on Hulu since we don't have a TV. So dur during commercials, I'm going to work out. So the chef over here has some steak and eggs ready for us. Yeah. It's uh, all protein, good for me. For uh, my workouts and stuff, so oh, I iron good for me and iron for Andy because she's supposed to be having iron in that red meat. Hey guys, look at look at look at her. Look at I'm Andy. like <laughs> double hand cooking here. Double hand cooking. I was gonna say something else, but it was double fisting. Yeah, <laughs> I knew you were gonna say double fisting. <laughs> uh, anyway, but guys, look at look at her belly. Look at that belly, guys. Yeah. Halfway through. Looking good. Mama's looking good. Everybody at work is like, you're so small. You're definitely having a boy because 
I guess because I'm carrying out and I have like all belly and not wide at all. Yeah. Is that, is that that means? Uh, that's what like one of the old wives tales is that if you're having a boy, you tend to carry more out. And if you're having a girl, you carry more like wide and in your hips. But I mean, there's some truth to that. But then also like my mom had two girls and with me, you know, when they had me, they didn't uh, find out what both me and my sister were when they had us. And my mom was carrying really far out when she was carrying me. So they thought I was a boy, but then I was born and I'm obviously I'm a girl. And then with my sister, my mom carried really wide. So there's some truth to that, but then like with my mom, it was, she had one of each. Okay. So I don't know. <laughs> well guys, we're gonna be having dinner right here and uh, shortly you're gonna see us either watching or you'll see me sweaty working out. Anyway, <laughs> we gotta chime in real quick with our buddy, R2. What's up, man? How's it going? Hanging out? He's been keeping the cupboard safe. <laughs> he's just he's guarding the cupboard. Yeah. He's making sure no one comes and steals our spices. Yeah. Here, I'm like, I'm just gonna get a spice, R2. Don't don't get mad at me, okay? <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see you later, buddy. See you tomorrow, okay? Bye. See see you later. See see you. Don't talk back to me. All right. Bye. Got gotta teach him with some manners. All right, what's up guys? So, currently riding my bike right now. I'm at 6.3 miles. I don't know if you can see this. It's backwards probably, I don't know. But anyway, I'm at 6.3 miles. For me, that's a new record. Uh, earlier today I did five in the morning. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna ride my bike while we're watching Extreme Weight Loss. And then got to I got to four and a half miles and I was like, huh, I'm gonna keep going. Got to five. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna keep going. And I'm at 6.3. Huh. I like it. Anyway, I'm still riding. Still riding. Just taking it easy. I don't want to kill myself. It's late, by the way. Um, I'm going to get off pretty soon because I don't want to work out all night. I got to wake up tomorrow and work out. But yeah, I just, it's pretty interesting. I, I am actually doing this and I'm fine. I'm sweaty, super sweaty, a little tired, but I'm fine. So, and he's sitting over there with her. Sports bra and her, her <laughs> big old pregnant belly just hanging out. Pregnant I, girls would understand. I didn't want anything on my skin. So I can't, I don't want to, I can't film her right now. But she's, she's relaxing with Athena, looking all pregnant and stuff. <laughs> she rubs a bunch of uh, oils on her stomach to help with the stretch marks and everything or to prevent some serious, uh, I guess it's, it is scarring, right? Stretch, stretch marks? Too. It's kind of scars, I guess, but um, don't yeah. have any yet. None yet, but you know she's she's treating her her stomach every single day with certain oils and ointments and stuff, and she's taking care of herself there. So, but yeah, I'm gonna we're gonna wrap up the vlog here. I know it was really quick, like a quick chime in kind of a vlog, but that's that's what today is. Got home late, had some steak and eggs, and then uh, turned on extreme weight loss, and I am on my bike. And that's tonight, so it's still a good night. So tomorrow, Thursday, that's our Friday technically because Friday we have off of from work because Andy has an anatomy scan uh, for the baby. So that'd be fun. That'd be super cool. I'm excited. We're both anxious to see the kiddo to make sure things are good and to make sure he's still a boy. <laughs> we'll be told. Devastated if it turns out he's not a boy. It's um, I mean, it it happens. You know, readings happen, and uh, people find out the baby's a different gender the day they're born, and it happens. It happens. So uh, we're going in for an anatomy scan. Basically, that checks like a baby's brain, the baby's heart, um, make sure everything's there, make sure the baby's fine. So, I mean, something to be anxious about. You're gonna, you know, they have this option to check out your baby, like. And check out the health of the baby like early on and it's kind of nerve-wracking because you know it's good to know ahead of time to prepare if anything is wrong but then you know it's it's like oh it's a cool little preview of the baby and then you're rest assured the rest of pregnancy that things are fine so it's kind of like a it's kind of like you know you choose what side you want to look at for the worse or for the better oh I got a text anyway 
I'll see you guys later. Thanks for joining us. If you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button. Andy's pregnant. I'm losing weight. Things are going on in this channel. You don't want to miss anything. Click that subscribe button, all right? And share this with your friends. Tell your buddies to subscribe. See you guys later, and see you on the interwebs. Bye. Bye. Andy says bye.